Hi everybody, it's me Flavio and welcome back to my channel. But maybe that's your first time on my channel. If that's the case, thank you for being here and thank you for watching this video. Let me just first tell you one thing. I love you. And I know that we might never meet eyes in real life or make any real eye contact, but because you're giving me the credibility of your time, I love you for that. So thank you for being here and thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'll be reviewing and demonstrating two new eyeshadow palettes, this time from Kylie Cosmetics. It's going to be the bronze palette and the mauve palette. And of course, I also prepare some makeup demos and if you wanna see everything that I've done here for you, you should watch this video until the end. But what is that exactly that I'm gonna be doing? Well, I'm gonna go through everything we're gonna be discussing, the visuals, the packaging, how does it feel in your hands, all the different finishes in the eyeshadow palettes. I'm also gonna be doing some swatches to see exactly what is the payoff of each and every color. And until the end of this video, you will have the opportunity to see two makeup demos that I've done in a beautiful model that I invited to elevate this video even more. Her name is Jill and I just cannot wait to show this for you. All right, but without any further ado, let's just do it. Let's just first talk about the visuals. Or the visual. I think you can see that it's only one picture and it's just <laughs> the color that they just changed it through a Photoshop. I think it's a missed opportunity. I wish to have seen two different makeup looks on Kylie and not only changing the colors using a, a Photoshop. But again, it's her choice to do this. Um, besides this, it's a very beautiful packaging. You can see here, you have this metallic sheen. Where do you have? You can read Kylie over here, very thin font. You can also see the bronze palette over there and Kylie Jenner over here. On the back of the packaging, you will see all the names of the press powders. And on the mauve palette, it's exactly the same, the mauve palette. So you have this very beautiful sheen, metallic Kylie over here, the mauve palette and Kylie Jenner. And here on the back, you also have the names of all the press powders. Notice that they are telling here that blushing and oh she cute, they are press powders that should be used only on the face. So it's not that they are not warning people, but again, it's a choice you make. There's few reasons that makes me uh, uh, wonder why they would have done this. With my experience, one of the most difficult things that you would have when trying to launch a global brand, it's regulations what it's legal in one country and what it's illegal in another country. So this might be the reason. And I think, for example, when it comes to the mauve palette, the blushing and the oh, she cute, there must be any ingredients on their uh, uh, formula. When it comes to regulations, at least in Europe, it might be forbidden to use on the eye area. But anyways, as a makeup artist, I'm talking for myself. As a makeup artist, we would take risks and try anything and anywhere that we want to. Most likely, I would try first on myself to see if I would have any kind of uh, uh, crazy reaction, which I don't believe it's so, but as long as I find it's a safe product to use on a certain area, I would take the risk to do it so, but only before trying on myself, of course, and knowing that I, it wasn't harmful for me. Now, outside of the packaging, this is the box outside it, it looks just like this, it's quite compact, feels really nice on your hands, because it's a um, plastic case, it feels very sturdy in your hands. It doesn't feel very cheap and also not too lightweight that you go like, okay, this, this is gonna break in, in no time. It does come with a mirror. And if you know me, you know that I appreciate having a mirror in a pressed powder palette. The reason is because I can do my own makeup already looking in the pressed powder palette mirror. So the finishings that go from matte to pressed pigments. And, of course, on the back, you will also have the names of all the pressed powders. 
but now I'm gonna do some swatches and I'm gonna do some swatches on my arm and on Jill's arm and the reason is is because Jill is quite fair skinned person and I just came back from vacation so I'm still kind of tan and then you can see how all the pressed powder pigments they would react into different skin tones okay so if you want to see it keep it up all right so one of the things that you can see is that the payoff is quite high I didn't go more than once with the pressed powder on each swatch because I want you to really see what is the payoff without having to build it up we can always build it up the intensity but in this case I didn't do this but you can see it looks really really pretty I'm gonna be naming them this one is vanilla pop off tell me more bronzed up mocha latte peaches take notes unmatched she's golden and brunette and from the mauve palette we have blushing glowing through it better with time oh she cute mauve me 90s vibe love to see it you're welcome chestnut and burgundy baby all right but now it's time for some makeup demo i cannot wait to read all of your impressions about this makeup look that i'm going to create on jill i'm going to start first with the bronzed palette all right keep it up So this is the end of the first makeup demo that I did. I hope you guys enjoy it. I think it looks really cool on her. And now it's time for the mauve palette. And again, please share your thoughts about the makeup look and your impressions about this pressed powder palette.
that's the end of the second makeup demo. I hope you guys enjoy it. I think it looks really nice on you. Alright, but what are my final thoughts about those beautiful pressed powder palettes? First of all, 27 euros and 90 cents. They are really below average in my opinion. What I like the most about those pressed powder palettes is how they are compact. Here you have them 20 pressed powders, so it's very convenient. I think the message that Kylie is giving to us here is that if you keep this one in your makeup kit throughout this year, you will be covered in any situation that you have to go looking amazing with your makeup done. Uh, if I would have to choose, I would take both. <laughs> I'm kidding. If I would have to choose, I would make it very simple for everybody. If you, for example, a brunette person, I think this color story would look amazing with someone with uh, brown hair and a slightly more mixed complexion. And if you are a brunette or if you have very fair skin tone, just go for the mauve palette. This color story, it's very suitable for anyone with blonde hair, light skin tone. But again, the sky is the limit. If you can afford both, go for both. So again, guys, thank you so much for all your time and support. And I cannot wait to read all your impressions about these videos and what you thought about the makeup demo. And again, I love you and thank you so much for the credibility of your time. See you all next time, all right? Bye-bye.